shadow knows. <laughs> The three great Linux home brighteners, Linux clear gloss varnish, Linux cream polish, and Linux self-polishing wax created by Acme, America's great producer of fine Acme quality paints, bring you the thrilling adventures of the shadow, the hard and relentless fight of one man against the forces of evil. Millions of American homemakers have discovered how Chemtone, the miracle wall finish, keeps their walls fresh and lovely. Now they're discovering how the three great Linux home brighteners bring sparkling cleanliness to furniture, woodwork, and floors. Linux clear gloss varnish gives lustrous, longer-lasting protection to every wood and linoleum surface. Linux cream polish renews the sleek, gleaming beauty of fine furniture. And Linux self-polishing wax lends rich, satiny loveliness to any floor, wood, linoleum, or tile. Take the modern shortcut to new home beauty with the three great Linux home brighteners. You'll find them all at your hardware, paint, or department store. Your headquarters also for Chemtown, the miracle wall finish. The Shadow, who aids the forces of law and order, is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. Years ago in the Orient, Cranston learned a strange and mysterious secret, the hypnotic power to cloud men's minds so they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the voice of the invisible shadow belongs. Today's drama, The Little Man Who Wasn't There. <laughs> Intermission at the opera. A glittering crowd circulates through the foyer and promenades up and down the great golden staircase. This is the final week of the city's most glamorous music season. What an intermission, Lamont. Better show than the one on the stage, Margo. Oh, look, there's Nancy Hale. Where? Just starting down the stairs. She's wearing the Hale diamond tonight. Golly, what a lot. <laughs> it must feel like a tombstone around her neck. <laughs> Come on. Come on, she's fighting. Oh, no, no, she seems to be fighting. Fighting? Oh, look, there's no one near her. Oh, let's, let's lend her hand, Margo. Here, get her. Get her. Uh, get it away from me, for heaven's sake. Easy, Miss Hale. You're all right. What happened? Some, someone. Something attacked me. There's something I couldn't see. I... Miss Hale. My diamond. The diamond pendant is gone. It's being stolen by that invisible thing. Come on. Look. No. There's, there's a card on the stairs. Oh, there's something written. No, wait a minute. What does it say? Oh, it's addressed to Miss Hale. It says compliments of the little man who wasn't there. Compliments of the little man. Now listen, Cranston, it's bad enough. I have to hang around opera houses at midnight. Don't play games. Who's playing games, Commissioner? We've given you the true story of what happened to Miss Hale. What's this little man routine? You've forgotten your nursery rhymes, Commissioner. Uh, I'd like to forget the headache I've got right now. There was a rhyme that went, Last night I saw upon the stair a little man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. My gosh, I wish he'd go away. The last line expresses my sentiments to a T. He did go away, Commissioner, with Miss Hale's diamond in his hand. And you saw him rob the woman? We didn't see him. He was invisible, I tell you. Look, I'll, um, I'll tell you exactly what we saw. Margot, will, will you go up the stairs, start coming down the same way Miss Hale did? Do I have to? Oh, now, go ahead. No one will bite you. Well, maybe the little man will. I'm wearing a couple of bracelets at my... Now, watch closely, Commissioner. Huh. Nancy Hale started down the steps at that point. We were watching her. She was all right on the upper step. Oh, this is a nightmare. I'm dreaming. Invisible crux. When Miss Hale reached the step Margot's on, the attack... <laughs> Uh, Margot, Miss Lang. Oh, oh, my golly. Oh, dear. Oh, what a scare we had. What happened? Not the little man again. I, I thought at first that it was, but, but I guess I just tripped. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Well, there you are, Commissioner. That's the way it happened. Fine. Some little guy out of Mother Goose that nobody can see starts to steal diamonds, and I'm supposed to catch him. Well, where do I begin? I don't know, Commissioner. Oh, I only hope the little man doesn't try another invisible crime. If he does, I'm going back to kindergarten. Well, the stock exchange was dull this morning. Yeah. 
read about the Hail Diamond last night? Oh, the invisible guy at the opera? Bond. No such thing as an invisible man. Oh, you think so, huh? Oh, wait a minute. There's Carter Gates. Well, he's coming down the stairs from the balcony. He oh. was the opera last night. We last came. Get away from me. Get away from me. Come on, please. Let me alone. Gates took a farm. Let's flop nothing. Look, he's fighting. Fighting out of the air. Yeah. Come on, let's get him away. Come on, let's give him a hand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Did you see him? Did anyone see him? Oh, say, who gets? My wallet. So I'm taken out of my pocket. Ten thousand dollars in American bonds stolen. See, there's the invisible man again. Hey, there's a car there on the steps. Yeah. Take a look. Let me see. Why, it's addressed to you, Mr. Gates. What? The compliments of the little man who wasn't there. Show up out there where it's nasty. Wait till I get an eye for the Monica Joy. She'll lay him in the aisles. Honey, you listen to Uncle. Do like I do. Stick to musicals. Let the long hairs drop their dough on his shakes. Here comes Monica out of the dressing room. Hey, say, Jan, get off of the stairs. Miss Joy's coming down. I didn't hear what she's wearing, will you? Are you kidding? Look at a McCoy, baby. 200 grand in emeralds. Oh. If the house don't go for her, they go for the ice. Ah! Hey, Joey, hey. Joey, just took a brownie. He's falling. Holy smokes. Michael, what are you doing? Fighting the DT? He's punching empty air. Get moving. Don't got the whole car. Okay. Miss Joy. Monica, honey, are you okay, kid? What happened? Uh, the invisible man. Joey, my emeralds. Huh? They're gone. He took them. Oh, for the lover. Hey, Monica, I guess he dropped this card here. It's got your name on it. What's it say? Compliments at a little man who wasn't there. Good morning, Mr. Weston. What's good about it? Uh-oh, better turn around and run for it, Margot. The commissioner looks pretty sour. What you see on my face is eight hours sleep I didn't get. You heard about the little man? That's why we're here. Yesterday afternoon at the stock exchange. Last night at the new musical shop. It's driving me nuts. The invisible criminal. Maybe you need an invisible police department, Captain. Very funny. I'm laughing. Ha <laughs> ha. I wasn't joking. No. Well, then go ahead. I'd like to know how I'm supposed to hire an invisible detective. I was going to suggest calling in the shadow. The shadow? It's the obvious solution, isn't it? Use an invisible man to catch an invisible man? What you're suggesting is to set a thief to catch himself. I don't understand. Cranston, I've just about made up my mind. Our little man is our old friend, the shadow. Oh, no. Yes, I've been afraid of this for a long time. The Shadow's the only man who knows the secret of invisibility. He's always been outside the law. Now he's really gone in for crime. That's impossible. How do you know, Miss Lane? Well, I, I just feel that the Shadow couldn't turn crook. He couldn't. Well, your heart's in the right place, Miss Lane, but your brain works wrong. It's the Shadow, I know. He's always been a potential danger to law and order. Now the danger's turned real. And I'm going to get him if it's the last thing I do. You've got to let us help with this case, Commissioner. No, uh, you better not, Cranston. The shadow's dynamite. For your own good, stay out of the way. Mm, thanks for the tip, Commissioner. I can't understand it, Lamont. Another man in the city who knows the secret of invisibility... An invisible crook. Awful. Yeah, it sure is a mess. Well, what are you going to do? Well, the obvious. Clear the shadow's name. And how? By catching the little man who wasn't there. Any ideas? Well, I'm depending on you to help a little. How? You know uh, Nancy Hale, don't you? Yes. Well, I'd like to meet her, speak to her. Maybe she can give us a lead on the little man. The sooner the shadow meets him, the better. kind of you to try to help, Mr. Cranston, but I'm afraid it's useless. You can't tell me anything about the little man? Think, Nancy. I've tried, but I can't. I I was too frightened to notice anything. Well, have you talked to the others who were robbed? Monica Joy and Carter Gates? I don't know them. Well, do you think the little man might be a friend of yours in real life? I don't know that either. Sometimes I think yes, other times no. Isn't there any lead at all you can give us? Any point which might account for the fact that the little man singled out you and the other two? I'm sorry, but I can't think of a thing. Miss Hale, 
Was your necklace insured? Oh, yes, of course, by Gabriel Hodge. Hmm. Well, that might lead to something. What address? Top floor of the Cannon Building, but you don't think that Mr. Hodge is in Well, I can't answer that question, Miss Hale. I'm hoping Mr. Hodge can. Come on, Margot. Let's go talk insurance. Oh, come in. Come in, Mr. Cranston. Come in, Miss Lane. Oh, thanks, Mr. Hodge. Well, sit down, won't you? And pardon me if I don't get up. I'm pretty well stuck behind my desk from nine to five. Arthritis. I'm sorry to hear it. Well, this is a lovely office to be stuck in, Mr. Hodge. Sun streaming through the window and lots of fresh air. Yes, yes. Well, now, Mr. Cranston, what can I do for you? Something about insurance, I presume? In a way. Seems like everyone's taking an interest in insurance since that little flurry of the past few days. The little man who wasn't there. Yes, just so, exactly. That's the reason we're here, Mr. Hodge. Really? Go on. I understand that you insured Nancy Hale's necklace. Well, that's right. As a matter of fact, I insured all three of the people who were robbed. For what amount? Well, Well, now, sorry, that's confidential. I see. Well, when you insured them, did you take down a description of the articles in question? Well, that is customary. Well, did you also learn when, where, and how the insured articles were carried? Exactly what are you driving at, Mr. Crest? One point, Mr. Hodge. These three people were robbed on stairways. It was a feature of the crime. How did the little man know he could catch each of them on a stairway wearing or carrying a stolen article? You know... That brings up an interesting point. Now, now listen to this, Mr. Cranston. This, this will interest you. All three... Mr. Mark. Pardon. Mr. Cranston, I... Oh. 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 He's dead. Mr. Mark, that shot. It was fired in this room. Fired right over my shoulder. Steady, Margo. It's the little man. He's here now. He's in this room, invisible. Whoever you are, wherever you are, speak up. Answer. Mr. Mark, you've got to turn into that. Quiet, Margo. Don't lose your head. But he's here. He's, he may be standing alongside of us. It looks that way. You know what you've got to do. Margo, do you know what you're asking? It's the only way to get him now. But the secret, it would reveal everything. You've got to do it, Lamont. You've got to. Oh, I know it's a sacrifice. But an invisible crook and murderer terrorizing the city. Killing, stealing. Oh, you've got to stop him now while we've got the chance. Get out of the way, Margo. Shadow. Yes, this is the shadow. Speaking to the little man who wasn't there. I know the trick of invisibility, my friend. I know every hypnotic trick invented in the Orient. Can you see any shadow? <laughs> the shadow sees all. The shadow knows all, my friend. It is useless to struggle against the shadow. Here and now you become visible to men's eyes. You cannot see the shadow, but the shadow will see you now. Shadow. Shadow, can you see him? Who is it? Shadow, answer. Can you see him? Shadow. Shadow. Oh, it's no use, Margot. Get to the door quick. Can you mind? Now open it. Before I get through. Lamont, did you... I, I don't know. He may still be in there. He may be alongside us now. I couldn't see him, Margot. Do you understand what that means? I couldn't see him. Even the shadow couldn't see him. Margot, we're licked. An evening at home is more enjoyable if your home looks as inviting best, and that's just how it does look when you depend on the three great Linux home brighteners. Linux self-polishing wax, for example, keeps your floors at their loveliest without tiresome rubbing or polishing, and dries to a rich satiny finish that really lasts thanks to its high content of genuine carnauba wax. The finish may be renewed whenever and wherever you like without rewaxing the whole floor. Also, the underwriter's laboratories have proved by test that wood, linoleum, and rubber tile floors are actually less slippery after Linux self-polishing wax has been applied. Always ask for Linux, L-I-N-X, Linux self-polishing wax. You will find all three great Linux home brighteners in Chemtone, the Miracle Wall Finish, at hardware, paint, and department stores everywhere. And now, back once again to the adventures of The Shadow. Well, this is a fine mess. 
You notice the size of that bullet wound, Cranston? Enormous. Mm -hmm. Looks like he was killed with a 55 caliber slot. They don't make a gun that size, Commissioner. I know, I know. Now, let's get this straight, Cranston. The shadow killed Hodge while you were in the room? It was not the shadow. Please, Miss Lane, quit carrying the torch to the shadow. You got any proof he wasn't the killer? Well, no, but you proved he was. Easy. The shadow's the only invisible man in the world, and that card he drops isn't fooling me. The shadow is the little man who wasn't there. Think it over. And I'm going to call Cardona. I've got to get that guy. Oh, Margo, we're in the worst mess we've ever been in. I, I know, Lamont. Bad enough that the little man has stronger hypnotic powers than the shadow. I can't understand that. The thing that's got me panicky is the fact that the little man knows, must know, that the shadow was Lamont Cranston. It, it was all my fault, Lamont. I shouldn't no, have asked. I forget that now, Margaret. It wasn't your fault. I'd have done it anyway. The important thing to remember is that we haven't much time. Time? Yes, don't you understand? We've got an hour or two at the most before the little man checkmates me completely by publishing my secret. Oh, no. Yes, so let's get busy fast. Now, that shot came over your shoulder, right? Uh-huh. Then the little man must have been standing right in front of this open window. Maybe he didn't see him. Maybe he climbed in through that window. Well, that's what I want to check. Careful of the plant box. We don't knock them out. No, it's impossible, Marco. No human being could have climbed to the window, either from the roof or any place else. Watch out, Lamar. I must have come in with... Oh. Now you've done it. There go five hyacinths in a 30-story dodge. Hmm. Very interesting. What's interesting? piece of glass on the windowsill. It's like a broken piece of magnifying glass. Magnifying glass? Mm -hmm. Come on, Margo. Hmm? We've got to hustle down to the courtyard under this window. I think I know how Hodge was killed. <laughs> Here's the plant box, or what's left of it. I'm not interested in hyacinth. I'm looking for something else. Oh, here we are. Oh, take a look, Margo. Oh, well, that's funny. This looks like a smashed pistol. Right. It's an old-fashioned gun. Right again. The remains of a flintlock pistol. Fifty-five caliber. The one that killed hard? Yes. Well, I don't understand. Why does a little man kill Hodge with an antique? And why do you throw it out of the window? Those are a couple of questions for the shadow to answer. But first, he's got to make a few social calls. The shadow? Mm -hmm. Making social calls? Social calls that will be strictly business. So brave of you, Nancy, dear, to give this tea. Hello, my dear. Poor oh, please. I mean, considering the dreadful experience you had with that ghastly, invisible thief, you are positively gallant, my dear. So kind of you to say, sir. Anyone else who hasn't been served yet? You've forgotten me, Miss Hale. So sorry, I really... Who said that? I did, Miss Hale. But where are you? Standing before you. Who are you? The shadow. The, the man who robbed me on the stairs at the opera. I did not rob you, Miss Hale. But Commissioner Weston said you... Commissioner did. Weston is mistaken. Shall I prove it to you, Miss Hale? How? How? Meet the shadow on the stage of the opera house tonight at midnight. You will meet the little man who wasn't there. And he will return the Hale diamond to you. Impossible. The little man will be there, Miss Hale, and so will the shadow. Until midnight. <laughs> U.S. Borax. 186, up three quarters. Virginia Iron and Steel, 39 and a half. Western Utility, 144 and a half, up a quarter. No, closing market doesn't look bad. Not bad at all. Would you be interested in a quotation on American bonds, Mr. Gates? Who's that? This is impossible. My office is empty. I must be hearing things. <laughs> that laugh. I... It is the shadow. Oh! Oh, please! Silence, you fool. You're a crook. You're a killer. You murdered Hodge. Listen to me, Gates. You're the little man who wasn't there. What do you want from me now? Justice. For who? For the shadow. What are you talking about? Ten thousand dollars in American bonds. Would you like them back, Gates? Like them back? They're mine. Of course I want then them. Then the shadow will strike a bargain with you. One small payment from you and the bonds will be returned. What payment? Help the shadow clear his name. You mean you didn't... 
I don't believe you. Come to the stage of the opera house tonight at midnight. The little man will be there. You will believe him. How do I know this isn't a trick? Tonight at midnight, Gates, plus the shadow. The shadow knows. <laughs> in a minute. Got to fix my makeup for the last act. Good evening, Miss Joy. Who's that? Who's in my dressing room? The shadow. But... Don't raise your voice. Don't scream. Listen to the shadow. To a crook and a gunman? Not much. Do you want your emeralds back, Miss Joy? What do you mean? You can have them tonight. Extortion, huh? I'm supposed to pay off? No. This is justice. Talk straight. After your performance tonight, come to the stage of the opera house at 12. For what? meet the little man who wasn't there. You're crazy. That's you. And receive your emerald. I don't believe you. Come to the opera stage, Miss Joy, for a performance of the shadow that will astonish you. <laughs> what time is it, Margo? Five or twelve. I'm supposed to go into the opera house. On this way. Lamar, that... I don't know what you're going to do, but I hope it works. I think it will. But the little man is so powerful. You said yourself, even the shadow and all the tricks he learned in the Orient couldn't make him visible. We'll get him anyway. Now, here's the stage door. Is it open? Yes. Well, how's that? Well, now, don't forget, Lamont Cranston's one of the opera officials. Oh. I made arrangements. Now, we go straight through to the stage, Margo. Please tell me what you're going to do, Lamont. Produce the little man who wasn't there. But how? By using his victims as bait. And he'll give them back their jewels and bonds? The shadow will make him. Come on. There's a light up ahead. Oh, it's just a safe light. Left on the stage at night. Now, careful now. What do you do? I hear him all and wait. Oh, you see him here. Can you see the orchestra from where you're standing? Yes. Yeah. There's an audience sitting out there in the darkness. An audience of gold. Now, Margot. Never mind. What is it? Something. A little man. The fate. The three victims. Oh, when he gets here, are you sure you can fight him? I mean, is the shadow strong enough? Now, you wait here and see, Margot. Don't show yourself, no matter what happens. Trust the shadow. <laughs> Is that the shadow? Good evening, Mr. Gates. Good evening, Miss Hale, Miss Joy. We come. We followed your instructions. I tell you, this is a crooked deal. I don't trust him. But you are here. That's the important thing. Little man. Where are you? Standing alongside the stage light. Too bad you can't see me. But no man sees the shadow. <laughs> you shouldn't have come, I tell you. You'll play dirty. Shadow, please, if you can. Wait. Our mutual friend is coming. Do you see him? Yes. The man's insane. It's the little man walking down the stage toward us. I can't stand it. Look there. He takes your purse, Miss Joy. Take your hands off me. Your wallet, Mr. Gates. Let go of me. Your bag, Miss Hale. How dare you? What's going on here? This is fantastic. I won't stand for it. And what do we find in them? Why, it's amazing. The little man has slipped your stolen jewels back into your purses. Your diamond, Miss Hale. Oh, your emeralds, Miss Joy. Your bonds, Mr. Gates. What? This is a frame-up. You couldn't have my emeralds. No one could. They were all happy No, no. Let her talk. The emeralds were never stolen, hmm? It's all up. She's wise to it, Nancy. Let's get out of here. You're not leaving me to, me here to take the rock, Gates. Get out, then. Run, quick. No, no, not yet. Let go of me. Run. I'll stop him. No. Let's go. 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 Pretending to fight an invisible man who never existed. Now fight a man who is really invisible. Fight the shadow. Oh, oh, Very nice show, Shadow. Very nice indeed. Entertaining and educating. Commissioner West. I'm obliged to you for the confession, Mr. Gates. I was sitting out in the orchestra with a plain clothes squad enjoying the show. You can quit fighting your throw. Frick. Outsmarted by that lousy shadow. Okay, Shadow. I gotta hand it to you. You squirmed out of this rap, all right. But don't think you're in the clear. <laughs> I still got you, brother. It's 
small charge, Shadow, but enough to put you away for a while. Long enough for us to look you over and find out what makes you tick. You going to come quietly? Shadow. Hey. Shadow. Go on. Got away again. How do you like that car, Donna? Just when I was going to give him 90 days in the clink for giving a public performance without a license. Then there never was a little man, Lamont. No, no, Margo. This was a clever ruse worked out by Hale, Gates, and Joy to defraud the insurance company. Each pretended to be robbed by an invisible crook. So they concealed the stolen jewels and bonds themselves. While they pretended to fight the little man. And dropped those cards themselves. Mm, right. Hodge was killed because he knew one important fact. Although each claimed not to know the other, Hodge knew that all three had met in his office. That pointed to collusion. Yes, but how was Hodge killed? No one was in the office. Now, well, that was the cleverest trick of all. That morning, they had the flintlock pistol in the plants on Hodge's windowsill. A magnifying glass was attached to the pistol. The gun was aimed at the chair where Hodge always sat. But how was it fired? By the sun. Concentrated sun rays ignited the powder in the powder pan and fired the pistol. The recoil knocked it out of the window and broke the magnifying glass. So it was just an accident that we happened to be there at the time. Yes. Lamont, you didn't really find the jewels and bonds in their purses and wallets, did you? I'm afraid not, Margo. The shadow ferreted them out of their hiding place earlier this evening and then pretended to discover them tonight. It was a psychological punch to frighten them into a slip or confession. Well, it worked. Shadow isn't a criminal anymore. Commissioner West is dead, so. Uh, believe you me, I had a tough time persuading him to come to the opera house tonight. I wasn't sure he'd show up until you thought you saw ghosts in the orchestra. Yeah, it's all over now. Let's forget about it. <sighs> Isn't this nice? Mm. Just diving in the moonlight. Oh, no, no, no. Stop cuddling, Margot. <laughs> Don't you remember what Weston said about the shadow? I'm dynamite. Are you, Lamont? Hmm. Someday I wish you'd prove it. <laughs> need to relax when we can these strenuous wartime days, and how much easier it is to relax in pleasant surroundings. Keep your home more pleasant every day in the year with the three great Linux home brighteners. Keep your fine furniture at its gleaming best with Linux cream polish, the furniture aid which gives a handsome luster in half the time because it cleans as it polishes. Yes, Linux cream polish saves you one whole step in your cleaning routine, for it removes cloudy old polish and dust. Erases blurry finger marks and renews the loveliness of the wood itself all in one quick, easy application. And Linux cream polish dries to a hard and bright finish, leaving no oil on the surface. Protect your fine furniture the easy, modern way. Always ask your dealer for Linux cream polish. You'll find all three great Linux home brighteners, Linux self-polishing wax, Linux clear gloss varnish, and Linux cream polish at your nearest hardware, paint, or department store. And now a word from your government. When American paper goes to the fighting fronts, it doesn't come back. Home front labor shortages have prevented the cutting of timber to make new paper. So the reuse of waste paper is the only way our paper mills can be kept running. Save paper for victory. The Shadow Program is based on a story copyrighted by Street and Smith Publications. The characters, names, places, and plot are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Again next week, the shadow will demonstrate that... <laughs> the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The shadow knows... <laughs>